All right, welcome back everyone. I'm Seth Roth, and today we are going to continue our explorations of the area surrounding this last bit of Act 4. So we haven't, let's see, we're going to save investigating the temple ruins for last, because supposedly that can take us into the Act 2 area. We're close to finding the Githyanki Patrol, and then there's the Mountain Pass to also get us into the area of uh, Act 2. So I'm fairly certain we've explored every other option. This also leads to the Mountain Pass. So yeah, I think we're about ready to wrap up Act 2 once we go down this road, which will hopefully give us enough experience, because as you can see, my Gale is just a little too tired. Yeah, let's do it. Let's get everyone health, healthy and ready to go spot. for whatever's ahead. Oh, our, uh, our tank is over encumbered, but we'll want to fix that. She is very slightly over encumbered. So let's see, maybe we can just grab a couple of these. Oh, no, 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 no. I don't want you to use it. So I was playing a different game earlier today with very different hotkeys. <laughs> and I am paying for it. Okay, let's just drag those items over here. Thank you very much. Uh, Sword of Justice, I guess we'll just try and reorganize here. Is she, okay, no longer encumbered. There we go. But, well, no, let's... Okay, Directly. we're going to give myself guidance. And then I will leave, because hopefully if we run into something, it's going to involve talking. I venture forth. Because I am a persuasion character, so that's kind of where I shine. We're going to hit this battlement up top first before we go further down. And see what's what. Can't give up now. Very well. What are you doing?! Hold up before they see you, Mark Gresham! Eh? What's the matter? What? Apart from the dragon? Look. That lot are swarming all over the bridge. I don't know what they want, but it can't be good. I'm going to find another way around. You ought to do the same. I doubt a fight against them would go your way. Huh. Seems you have good survival instincts. Oh, can we recruit her? What? Just follow you around? I go my own way. Alone. Never mind. Nobody. Just another harassing fool trying to stay alive. There's plenty of us around. Okay. Rag. That's it. I'm getting out of here. Let's see, she says we're gonna leave. Oh. Drop your weapons! I'll feed your innards to the ants before I do that, Istik. This is your last chance! No, <laughs> look up. That was your last chance, Istik. Now burn! I hope we don't have to fight that. Oh, okay. It's not like I was going to use that bridge. Stop wasting time, Beretta. You're not here to play with the locals. Of course, Kithrak. We merely sought to... No excuses. Question, kill, then move on. Find the weapon. Our queen watches us. Fail her at your peril. Oh, okay. Negative, but those gifts will carve you up like a goose. Huh. Okay, let's see. Is there any usable loot to take advantage of up here? There is a heavy chest. Stuff that goes boom. Stuff that spits acid. Yes, please. Huh. Do we want to go all the way back to camp to grab our Githyanki friend to try and talk our way through this? Or do we want to just try and talk our way through this on our own? Hmm. Mostly the dragon is giving me What's pause. We could probably handle everything else. Let's see. So we'll head down this way. Oh, we can even just hop down that way. That's convenient. Uh, let's no rest pop the, the guidance again. I have a feeling it'll be a high DC to talk ourselves out of this if Stop things go bad. We we're saving before this. We've learned that mistake before. And away Another we go. Step forward. 
I hope this doesn't blow up in my face. What easy prey you make, walking right within my blade's embrace. These creatures are so simple to ensnare, Beretha. You mule too much about your task. Forgiveness, Kithrak. And as for you, tell me, why shouldn't I run you through this instant? Oh, okay, let's see. Sleight of hand, preparing to attack with my whole plus two from dexterity. Insight, you have done so already. If you didn't want something from me first, that's fair. My wisdom kind of sucks. Intimidation, plus three. I just want passage. If I have to go through you, so be it. Persuasion. Ooh, okay. That is where we are rolling. I don't know you. You pose... I don't know you. I pose no threat. That's fair. Okay, all right. Come on. This is why we do a charisma caster. This is why we roll a charisma caster. Oh, uh, come on, come on, plus nine, plus nine, plus nine. Are you kidding me? One? Really? Oh, I mean, these guys have a dragon. If you're ever going to roll an inspiration to not die, this is probably it. There we go. Charisma caster for the win. These are not the droids you're looking for. Of course you are not a threat. You are nothing until I tell you otherwise. For you to keep sucking air, it is necessary for you to tell me something of worth. A vessel fell hmm. from the sky. We seek a precious weapon that was taken from it. You suddenly feel a strange anxiety take hold. Not your own, but that of the artifact you carry. Somehow, it's afraid. You attune your mind to it. The artifact does not want to part from you. It does not want to fall into the Gith Raiders' hands. Help us find it and I will leave your blood beneath your skin unspilled. Hmm. We're not going to produce the artifact. You need to start from the beginning. What is this weapon you're after? I'll help if I can. It doesn't say I'm lying, though. I would be lying in that case. I might know something, but it'll cost you. Uh, hmm. Maybe we can just get him talking and find a way to talk our way around it. And then start from the beginning. What is this weapon you're after? Do not speak. Your bleating offends my ears. Just stand still. He begins oh, crap. to move sense his it. hand in a quick flurry of gestures. Ah, uh, crap. Warlock. Wisdom. He is casting the defect, defect, yeah, detect thoughts. Steal your mind to resist it. Well, that we should be able to do. Oh, difficulty class 5. Wait, it was a DC 15 to convince him we were no threat, and it's DC 5 to keep him out of our head? Okay. I'm not going to look a gift horse in the mouth. <laughs> Nothing even approaching a useful thought in that skull. I ought to just kill you. <laughs> okay, do we want... I could help you if you let me live, searching for this weapon. That's fair, and I am strong in persuasion. There's intimidation, why are you hesitating then? Try it, I dare. Oath of the Ancients for my paladin. You must have seen my knowledge of these ancient lands. I could be of use to you. That's a possibility. Read his thoughts. Well, the last time that failed, it started a fight, and this is not one wayward caravan guard. Um, the Oath of the Ancient Ones. Um, oh, that is a persuasion. So yeah, let's give it a shot. That is still a roll. DC 15. These guys play hardball. I am so not... Uh, do I want to burn another inspiration? I only have so many of these. Ah, fine. Let's do it. Help. Absurd. You're already a hindrance. Wasting my time. Baratha, rid us of this worm. I need to continue the hunt for the weapon. At once. Attack her! Okay. Does that mean Red Dragon Guy is leaving? I am all for Red Dragon Guy leaving. Okay, alright, we're gonna be very, very, very careful about this. We've got four baddies. I'm in front, which is where I do not want to be. Our assassin, however, gets sneak attack. Yeah, let's do an exploding arrow. Arrow roaring thunder, maybe? 
acid, 2D4 acid, 1, 2D4, 5, yeah, well, no, let's see. So we're not going to set them on fire because I'm hoping to use grease. So instead we'll use air, exploding arrow of acid. Although landing a good sneak attack right at the start might be the way to go because he rolled a high enough initiative that he can actually land it on one of these guys. Do we want to? We're probably better off trying to snipe one of the squishies. If we can tr take out the squishies pretty quick, then that just leaves us the big bads, and we should be okay. So let's try punch sign that one. Half health gone off of a crit. Yes, please. Uh, all right, he's going to need how far? I'm going to hopefully he can be out of line of sight if I get around this corner, but he probably won't be. Maybe it'll give him some cover from ranged attacks. I hope. One can only hope. Oh, that's funny. The one he shot is the one whose turn it is next. Lovely. Oh, that's fun. Oh, and she has a, holds a grudge. And she shoots twice per turn. That's good to know. Okay, let's see. So if she's shooting twice per turn, let's start off with getting this hex out here. Although, she's probably going to be really nasty. If we hex her decks and then throw a grease under her or a web, that would probably be better strategically and then just leave someone else to try and finish her off. Although I'd love to be able to just get her out of the way now because she's going to be picking at us, I'm sure. Uh, okay, let's now let's hex her boss so we can get some grease under her. And then we'll try to land a shot on her. Ooh, okay, knocked her down, that helps. And then for this guy, we can kind of tank, so let's fall back just a bit well. to keep myself and Karlak uh, between them and Gareth. And then we'll see what this guy has in mind. Uh, I don't mind popping the shield to stay away from bad things happening to me. Yeah, okay, Ooh, okay, missed, 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 I'm good on that. Oh, and they can heal. That's lovely. Alright, then we have Karlek. So we can either rage or go straight into bear form. I'm thinking straight into bear form. Well, no, if we could rage and then bear. Let's try that. Jimmy on the go. Okay, so it takes my action. I'm not able to wild shape and rage in the same round, which is kind of annoying but we are close enough this seems really quiet let me just tweak the audio a little bit here audio master volume's already up that's odd i feel like things seem quiet particularly the music we should have like combat music going all right well i guess we will try to figure that out at a later time anyway she is not within range for melee hits and i can't turn into my bear yet so we will have to go for... Oh, if she keeps the shield on, though, it's two more points of armor. Can you switch to your shield now? She cannot. Okay, that's gonna... She's basically bait uh, at this point. Okay, do we want to do grease or do we want to do web? I think she, I thought I prepared web. Apparently I did not prepare web. I do not see web. I see grease, though. That could still be very helpful. Let's just uh, knock you down. Wow, oh, she saved even after I nixed her decks. That's worrisome. Uh, let's Don't get him get around here close. behind some cover as well. All right. Please focus on the tank. Oh, that's a strange use of misty step. Oh, interesting. Oh, not... Oh, jeez. Okay. That's bad. Not yet. Wow. So, huh. Okay. So teleporters kind of suck. It's, how do you how do you tactically arrange yourself to handle teleporters? Like, wow. Okay. That's huh. Well, I guess we will disengage and try to keep a armored person yes, between him and 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 nastiness. Maybe if we can finish him a step advantage. I don't have advantage, but 
Yeah, let's use an arrow of fire up here and try to at least kill this one. Okay, alright, so that's one down. There is hope. Now, uh, if I throw a potion over there, I could get him up. She's already hexdexed, so I could shoot her. Then we have this one and that one. So, let's see here. I don't think we're quite to the point yet where I want to use my one healing radiance. Although, if we have to redo this, I'm definitely going to be making use of that. Is there anyone who's concentrating on something? Okay, well, let's try... Now we gotta save the big one for last. I'm trying to whip out the... take out the solutions first. If I can. I almost got him off the edge. That was 18 damage from one shot. Okay, so let's... Uh, get the tanking going. me and everyone else. Ah, I wish that goading roar had enough range to reach. Oh, oh, that might actually... Okay, he's goaded, she's not. That's something. That is something. That's because I have a feeling he hits hard. Okay, he hits everybody hard. That's lovely. Okay, she is very focused. Wait, I'm down too? No, I'm not. Okay. Alright, he's rolling. Alright, can't control because he's down. This is worth the cost. Let's. I wish I could get around. Let's see. Disengage is an action. Alright, we're just going to pop that healing radiance. That gets him up. Let's try landing. Okay, so we just. Shock and Grasp removes her ability to make opportunity attack rolls, so that allows me to step out of her melee range. Something. Which just gives us a Starion. I'm going to have him throw a potion to our wizard. Drop, split. What happened to throw? Why can you not throw? Is that something you can only do when you're proper level? That's really, really annoying. Okay, can we... I guess we can just fight her. <laughs> he's happy! He's almost dead, but he's happy. That's lovely. She's going to just want... She's going to smash him next round. There's not a lot I can do about it. Okay. Or not. Oh, well, lovely. Jeez, that extra attack on each of these guys is no joke. Our tank is doing fine, the rest of us are not. So my only option here would be to, like, drop her wild shape and then start emergency healing. But these guys are already, like, they're doing too much damage. Now we're going to have to... We will try it one more time now that we know, now that we have a better idea what we're up against. So, let's see. So they can teleport to your squishies. They have extra attack. And they seem to have no problem. It's frustrating because I went to great lengths and multiclassed to give my guys like 19 armor class. And I really did not see it helping. Uh, but you know what? I think we're just going to go ahead and level up the three of us that can level up. Let's see if we can't give ourselves an edge, shall we? Uh, let's see, so that's if we want to level up as Paladin, that is not what we're after. We're going to level up in Sorcerer. Where is my Sorcerer? It's there. Yeah, that's the one I want. Hey, hey, that's the one I want. Oh, let me just, uh, open these crass features. There we go, okay. We get a new Sorcerer spell. Let's see, what could help us in our current, oh holy crap, Situation possibly thunder wave, jump, ice knife, fog cloud, maybe if we can blind charm person, prevent it from attacking you, gain advantage on charisma checks in dialogue. Hmm. Which bolt magic missile doesn't miss? 
That might be helpful, given that they seem to have a crap ton of armor. False life. Feather fall. Fog cloud. Uh, yeah, alright, we'll try magic missile. Class passives. Okay, we're getting into metamagics now. We can extend. Distant. Careful. Now that's interesting, because then that means I could actually use spells that explode. Or twin spell. So you can... Use a sorcery point per spell slot to... So you can take a spell that targets one person and make it target two. So I could, like, twin spell holy word if I had that. A healing word, which I do not. Okay, that's... You know what? We will use twin spell. And uh, well, I'm more of a sniper, so we'll go distance spell. We're not going to be... We don't really have anything to replace, so... We should be good. Okay, so we have level five. Oh, we should that should have buffed our uh, Eldritch Blast, so that could actually really help. Uh, let's see. Do we want to bulk up her Barbarian or her Druid? If we bulk up her Barbarian to level two, we have Reckless Attack, more likely to hit, but also more likely to get hit. Danger Sense. Or we go Druid, which gives us a cantrip. Additional actions, wild shape into Deep Roth. Roth. Assume the shape of a Deep Roth. Casts Dancing Light, charges its enemies. Starting health at 23 hit points. Okay, and a new feat. Okay, yeah, that we will take that. We'll take that action. Uh, we have Resistance, Shalele is kind of a melee spell. Bruce Flame could be useful. Uh, race, Zariel Tiefling spells. Legacy of Virgin. Okay, prepare spells. Oh, we can switch some of the prepared spells. Hmm, do we want to switch out anything? Got all of these, like, animal-like spells that aren't really helping us in combat. So we could do Good Berry for more healing. Prepare Strike Water, Lying Strike. Berry Fire would make them all easy, potentially make them all easier to hit. Uh, possibly Entangle. That could be useful try and tangle. And a feat. Oh, okay, this is... Alright, we're going with ability improvement because we can get her wisdom up to 18, which increases the number of spells that she can repair and makes her magic casting even more powerful. If we launch the right spell at the start, before we wild shape, we could still have a good option. Now, we have the option of going ranger, which will give him more health, some extra spells, a fighting style, that could actually be really useful. Uh, or we go for level 4 Rogue, which gives us a new feat. Probably going to go with the new feat. Probably going to go with Ability Improvement. Bring his Dexterity up to 18, which makes him more accurate. And Wisdom to make him more perceptive. Okay, so with that said, what is this? Oh, that's the meta magic stuff. Cool. We're going to save again. I have no problem saving over the uh, original attempt because that kind of got botched. Ah, uh, let's see. So we know we had some charisma checks that could work out in our favor. I'm tempted to... Actually, you know what? Let's get them over here. We get significant advantages to attacking with ranged weapons from above the targets. So if we go down here, and my party follows, we can get everyone right here. Alright, now. What oh. easy prey you make. Oh, that's walking right within my fun. <laughs> embrace. That tripped easy. These than creatures are so simple to ensnare, Beretha. You mule too much about your task. Forgiveness, Kithrak. And as for you, tell me, why shouldn't I run you through this instant? Okay, I think we'll play to our strengths again, since I still have that plus... Um, yep, yeah, I have my charisma and my persuasion, but unfortunately... I do not have my guidance running because I wasn't able to activate that. So we'll see what happens. Come on! Okay. Woo. Yes, I pose no threat. Of course you are not a threat. You are nothing until I tell you otherwise. For you to keep sucking air, 
It is necessary for you to tell me something of worth. A vessel fell from the sky. We seek a precious weapon that was taken from it. You suddenly feel a strange anxiety take hold. Not you attune Ooh, your I can mind. Skip the stuff Help we've us already find it, and I will to. leave your okay, blood good. beneath your skin unspilled. All right. Let's try start from the Do beginning. Not speak. I think that's where we went before. In a quick flurry of gestures. Yeah, warlock wisdom. Don't let him in your head. It's only DC five. Ooh. Okay. <laughs> Nothing even approaching a useful thought in that skull. I ought to just kill you. Okay, all right, we're gonna try the Oath of the Ancients Paladin. Um, our knowledge of the ancient lands could be of use. Fingers crossed. Come on, nine or higher. Woo, very close. Okay, we're okay. Unlikely you'd be successful, but it costs me nothing to spare your sorry life. Yeah? Very well, Istic. Ooh. Seek out survivors from the ship that crashed on this wretched world. Bring me their heads. Bring me the weapon. If you succeed, the reward will be great. Now go. Oh, okay. I guess this is another perk of charisma-based casters. <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay, all right, well... Yeah, sometimes persuasion will get you further than combat. And we get to level up our Gale. Let's see, do we want a level two cleric or a level four wizard? Uh, level two cleric, we can get destructive wrath, turn undead, could be useful, channel divinity, some, let's see, level two cleric, Destructive Wrath, let's see, you roll Thunder Lightning Damage, you can use your channel to make deal maximum damage instead. Yeah, I think that, uh, I think that will be worth it. And we have our two prepared spells, which are healing related, just in case. You can probably take off Cure Wounds and put in something else. I don't see us using Cure Wounds a lot. It has to be a buff, though, because it doesn't have enough wisdom to use magic that's offensive in nature. Shield of Faith, though, plus two AC to whoever's tanking could be really helpful. Well, that happened. Oh, and we can still loot some of these guys. All right, I'm, I'm good with this plan. <laughs> a carrot. You died with a carrot in your pocket. Oh, Flaming Fist Mercenary. Yeah, I don't think we like them. I don't think so. I think they're kind of more like bullies. But I don't know a lot of the lore around the Flaming Fist. But I will take the gold and the chicken egg. Leather armor, that's still worth quite a bit. The shield, not so much, but we can make use of it. Okay, now let's see anything else over here that we can loot. Oh, there's a pouch. Let's have a look. We'll use that. Definitely will take that. Uh, we've got a encumbrance problem now, which is ironic because I like just finished shopping. Oh, no, that was the wrong button. There we go. Alright. So the scale mail gets pretty heavy. Oh, nope, now he's burdened. <laughs> this is the one disadvantage of having a group that relies heavily upon armor, is uh, managing weight becomes a bit of a trick. Oh, we can go this way. Oh, is this the way to the mountain pass? Probably. We're not going to actually enter through the mountain pass, but... Uh, for, oh, no, that is that is literally just... You click the button to go to the mountain pass. That is not what we're going to do. Okay, so apparently you can charisma way out of what is apparently the most difficult battle in uh, the whole thing, uh, in the whole of the first act that uh, I had read that the Gith Yankee fight was nasty. I did not believe how nasty. It was nastier than I expected. Ooh, that was a lot. A lot, a lot, a lot, a lot. But uh, yeah, so this is one of the reasons to go Charisma Caster, because then you can just uh, stomp your way through on, on Charisma checks when you're trying not to deal with a huge fight and you still get a ton of XP. Oh, and somehow we got XP by entering the room. Not sure how that happened, but if I'd have known that was the case, then I would have entered with Gale before the big fight so that he could level up before the big fight. But uh, okay, 
So, in order to get on to the next area in Act 2, I mean, if we wanted to be a completionist about this, we could go in and deal with these spiders, but if I remember from early access, they don't actually have anything of notable worth. So we're just going to head over to... Uh, where was it? There's a door. It's not over here. I think it's over here. Yep, Priestess Quarters Entrance. Pretty sure if you go through here and then just down, you will get to hopefully the secret of the night song. But if not that. All right, okay. Shared stash, use the key. Defiled temple, lovely. All right, what are we gonna do with her? All right, well, at least we can have a, we'll have one good, one quick fight before the end. Uh, let's see. We're gonna go into We'll wait for her to turn around, and then we will enter turn-based mode. Patience, Padawan. All right, so we got to go with the Should mind sneak, my step. sneak. Should mind my step. Then we'll go with Gale. You have my attention. Who will be offering emergency healing so he can no one hide and stay back here. I don't plan on using him to as a human explosive just yet. Oh, I, I forgot to have her hide. Got this. That's not awkward at all. Uh, okay, what and now? then we've got our assassin who is going to yes. go here, Let's... hide, and get up here. All right, then we're going to end our turns. Wait for the environment to reset. Oh, this is going to be close. Okay. So we're going to start with Astarian for obvious reasons. I'll always let the Assassin Rogue go first. Uh, yeah, I mean, that's all you really got to do. Just uh, bon appetit, madam. Oh, that's mean. Okay, very nice. Oh, and he rolled high on his decks, so he gets another one. Oh, that is brutal. I love it. And us, our Eldric Blast, now that we are level 5, our Eldric Blast should get two shots. Ho, 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 ho. Oh, wow. Okay, that was much more effective than I expected. That was beautiful poetry in motion, and I forgot to loot the books. Mostly I'm looking for, like, spell scrolls or that kind of thing. Not too interested in philosophy or history at this point. Uh, let's see. Can we get through the Iron Gate? We can get through the Iron Gate. And uh, nothing to loot in here. What about over here? Boxes. Let's see. Nope. More books. Oh, that was the wrong button. More books, more books. I'm gonna have to restrain my usual urge to loot everything, because heavy armor is heavy, and my characters are not strength-based. Well, most of them are not. Uh, oh, well, there you go. I'll get some nice, pleasant lighting in here. What is that? Scroll of Acid Arrow. Yes, please. We can make use of that. This is an ugly shrine. That's curious. Complete the pouch. I will take that action. Thank you. Not really interested in the animal carcass. What's in here? We'll see what Pulma has. Supply pack. Yeah. 40 camp supplies. Sweet. Right before we go underground. Okay. Gilded chest. Necklace of Misty Step. Cool. I have a whole new respect for Misty Step What's now that I got like one-shotted by angry Gith Yankee. <laughs> uh, okay, let's see here. Basic... Uh, we'll start by lighting candles. Basic poison, thank you. Recipe of elixir of arcane cultivation. It sounds very refined. Okay, animal carcass in the bed. That's kind of weird. Uh, wardrobe. Gold. Kind of cool. I will take that. Alright, and here we are. Alright, I think... This is the part of the subterranean temple of Saloon, where we are trying... Oh, scroll of acid, yes please. 
where we're trying to find the Night Song. Oh, there's that web spell I was looking for before. Trying to find the Night Song artifact and a way into the Underdark. Rocky Crevasse. Not a chance off it in there. Uh, shoot it? No. I could turn into, hmm. We tried turning into a halfling before and we didn't fit in things that small, but I doubt that it is the, the way through. Looks like the next step is to actually go through here. Oh, hi. Yes, that looks important. Let's go ahead and get some light going on in here. I don't see anything like lootable. I don't see crates and boxes and stuff. Go. But turning on the lights seems like a good place to start. Looks like all those moon plates can be turned. Makes sense that uh, saloon would be about the moon. The moon plates can be turned, but we don't know Open up. how they would need to be turned. Mostly I'm just trying to get some light in here. And then we will go from there. It's kind of funny, like I'm using characters that have night vision or dark vision, so they don't need to see in the dark, but I kind of like being able to What's that? What? What's where? What's that what? I, I beat a perception check, but it's not showing me what I perceived. <laughs> uh, is it the silver plate? Mm -hmm. Is it uh, is this little insignia there? This is like four little points in a circle. Huh. Okay. Uh, we can get a candle. Oh, another silver plate. Take that. Then we have another one over here. Oh, lever. Okay, that's useful. They must maybe they're all levers to turn the individual moon plates. Except that one is not turnable. Hmm. Okay. Alright, let's try and think this through here. We've got. This is my least favorite part of the DD games. So only one of these has like crisscross hatches on it. Usually you'd have one of these that serves as kind of a guide. Kind of like in Skyrim, how you the uh, they would leave symbols on the walls to tell you which direction to turn the glyphs. That one though, the camera makes this a little tough. It looks like the bottom one is shorter than the other three. Does that mean the black one needs to be facing out? Huh. Well, it looks like the moon, the, the light is centered on this single disc. So let's start by putting four lit ones where the light is and see if that does what we look for, what we're looking for. Locked. Do they give us the unlock option? Can we lock? Can we pick this? Huh? I mean, that'd be don't awesome. I have the magic touch. I don't know that this. I don't know that that makes a whole lot of sense, given how <laughs> elaborate this contraption is. But I have no problem. Need something? No, I need you to pick a lock. Stop! I'm, I'm clicking well, too many places. Can we lock it. Should be easy. You can totally pick this. Cool. Oh, please, come on. You have so many bonuses. This has to work. Okay. It worked with capital W. Sweet. Oh. All right, then. So... These things have stayed interesting. I think we're good. Journal updated. Find the night song. Let's just check that real quick. Find the night song. And here, solve the puzzle. We use secret passages underground. Cool. All right. Very well. This is probably where we're going to wrap up for the night. Because I don't know where this goes or how complicated it's going to get. So that is where I will leave you. 
thank you for joining me so much on our chaos and uh, chaos and more chaos and avoiding get the Yankee fights whenever possible. Hope you guys are having a wonderful day. Feel free to like the video, subscribe to my channel. I'll talk to you later. Take care.